Hey Taurus. All right, so you are up. This is just a general reading, okay? Whatever comes out. Okay, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I am running out of energy today. Like, I'm telling you, it's this planetary alignment. It is just, like, I cannot get enough rest. So I'm going to stick this little doodad on my stomach and hope that it helps with this reading. It's an energy thing, guys. Like, it's, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Trust me. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. What do you need them to know? Okay. Okay. Feeling some insecurity about a situation. I'm not really sure why. It's like you were able to mask before or, or play the part before, and this time you're having a really hard time with it. Could be a reconciliation. What is this about? Could be with an air sign, doesn't have to be. It definitely looks romantic, okay? And we also have we also have water or somebody really holding back their emotions. Um, this is not your typical relationship. So if it's romantic, this is a very this is very different from how you usually do it. If this is um, I don't, I don't feel like this person, frankly, Taurus, if I were you, I would probably walk away. If somebody wants to reconnect, I would walk away because it's almost like they, they do not want to play the part that you want them to play. Okay. They're coming back in, but they're not, they're not coming back in with like the same enthusiasm as you. Heavy on the air. We have a lot of air here. Who is this? I do see a ailment here as well, guys. Something that's going to catch you off guard. It doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody that you know. Could be that air sign even. Um, or somebody with a lot of air quality. Kind of aloof, sharp tongue. Um... I would say if you or somebody you know is is ill, I would I would use almost like the the power of persuasion or like gaslight yourself into being better. <laughs> That's what I would give you for advice. <laughs> I'm not a medical doctor, guys. I just play one on YouTube. Okay, you are in the reverse. Why is that for Taurus? could be watching somebody and when you're watching somebody you're finding it very disappointing you're going to kind of lose the passion for this situation whether it is like you're investigating somebody you're working with with the client or you're investigating somebody that you like you're going to be like okay this sucks like this is not what i was hoping to see and there's no forward movement with that continue for taurus If you're having a hard time giving something up, whether it's a person, whether it's a bad habit, um, diet diet changes or, you know, anything like that, you know, just, just try to push through it because it is going to be really hard on you. Guys, I don't know why I'm feeling really drained and during this reading. So I am getting the feeling that it's probably you guys I'm, I'm picking up on because I was find my last two readings so I'm, I'm feeling like somebody else is feeling very drained currently some so, sort of karmic destiny does not work out for you or destiny doesn't work out for you like you, you saw it as a destiny I would say but the universe did not yeah you are blinding yourself to this that what whatever this is I'm seeing passion flowers You were like, oh my gosh, I just know this is the one. Or oh, I just know this is the, the business I should buy. Or I just know this is like what I should be doing for life. And it, it wasn't. It'll put you in the reverse. For Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. 
We have an Aries here. Coming in strong, guys. There's an Aries here. They want a connection with you. You're going to have a really hard time with this. Else you don't want a, a connection or you're already tied to somebody, something. It's, it's coming in. I don't see you putting any effort into it anyway. I really don't. They are pushy as hell though. They're not going away easily, Taurus. Why is the Three of Wands here? If you're deciding whether to get involved with somebody, whether to make a move, something like that, there's something coming that you don't see. Like it's, it's not been illuminated yet. It will be illuminated in time, but let's take a look at what it is. Okay. I would say let it happen naturally. So let's say, let's say you are focused on um, getting involved. Just let it happen naturally. Don't like force the situation. Allow it to come in the way it's supposed to. It is a wish fulfillment, okay? It could be an Aquarius. Um, if it is a business or job opportunity, wait, wait. Um, if it's a move, wait. Let it naturally happen. It'll be like one of those days where somebody calls you and goes, oh my gosh, Taurus, by the way, did I tell you about this amazing business to buy? Or, oh, Taurus, did I tell you about this amazing house and they just dropped price 20,000 wait for that moment okay it's going to just happen in it like a divine manner yeah you have an air you not Aries you have an air sign here um I don't like them guys I don't know if you know who they are anymore but I don't like them and they're sharpening their knife like they they they're plotting something it could be financial Oh, for sure. If this is somebody you work with, they're trying to take your place. If this is a client, they're trying to get something for free. If this is a family member, they might be tra trying to take advantage of you somehow. Um, I don't love it. Clarify this, please, for Taurus. Somebody's holding back emotion. This could be you or a water sign, and someone's going to be left out very unexpectedly, okay? Um... It's, it's a spiritual matter. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's a spiritual matter. So maybe this was like karmic or, or it was supposed to happen. I don't know. It's some sort of lesson. Okay. Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Saying here to hold on to your money, you're going to need it for something. Could be anything from a move to a new project you're working on. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus who's trying to, uh, not Taurus, Scorpio who's trying to cut you off. Um, for others of you, there is no change in... Um, the way you're feeling, like, so if you're feeling really amazing right now, you don't have to worry about that changing anytime soon. If you're feeling really depressed, I, it's not going to change anytime soon, okay? Feeling like you don't have a lot of options and you're feeling like this burden, this very, very heavy burden. It's temporary, guys. It's temporary. For those of you that are invo bleh, involved in any sort of 
court situation, you're going to be hearing about that and it is very positive. For those of you that are in some sort of karmic situation, again, I'm pulling water sign, take it as it resonates, guys, and I'm seeing blue hair for some reason. Um, it'll resolve itself naturally, especially if this is like somebody you work with or somebody that um, you have business with clients and stuff like that, okay? Okay, we have messages coming in. What are these messages? Okay. All right, for those of you that are currently involved, the message could be about potential travel plans that get turned around because this person no longer wants to be involved. Um, if this is about a move, somebody else is going to, like if you're currently looking at a place to buy or, or uh, move to, you're gonna hear that somebody else already bought the place or, you know, the, or the trip doesn't pan out, okay? Um, if you, are looking to travel towards somebody, you might find out that they went back to somebody else, okay? If you have a child or you know a young person in your family, expect to hear from them. They may wanna see you or they need to talk to you about something. This could even be just a younger, much more immature friend. They they got, they got are in some sort of like trouble, but I don't know, like if it's emotional trouble or what. You're still pulling that Aries, guys. Still pulling that Aries. Finances will improve. Number eight is here, 888. Oh, I literally have 888. Which is great. Good for money. Good for karma. Um, that's There's a lot of positivity there. I do like it. The tower is here. It's going to work in your favor. Um... So you didn't know the truth about a matter, and it, it looks financial, but take it as it resonates. You didn't know the truth about a matter. It will be exposed to you. Um, it's going to help you make some sort of decision uh, moving forward that is going to like really kind of fix things for you, okay? Um, I like it. You may be spending some time alone um, going forward as well, just because you're hurt over a situation. But I assure you, with the Wheel of Fortune, it's it's meant to be. It's supposed to be that way. Again, for those of you that are looking to move or buy something, something large, whether that's a house or whatever, I would I would just let it happen naturally. Because if you force it, you're going to come out of money and not be too pleased about it. You know, like you buy this house thinking you're going to really love it and it has a ton of issues. You buy this business and it doesn't do well. Just just be really careful. Same goes with it if you're buying a car. Like I said, if you're involved in any sort of court situation, it will go in your favor, but it is going to cost you. It is going to cost you some sort of financial situation. Something brand new will be happening for you soon, but you have to go through some sort of healing situation first. Um, somebody like really stabbed you in the back or really hurt your feelings or something, but I do see something brand new blossoming for you. And with the flowers here, I would say it's going to happen before winter, guys, okay? So I hope this helps.